just getting started. was some competition back in those days about clothes and who would wear something first and who would look the best in it. Patty LaBelle and Blue, Blue Bells were unique because we didn't really wear gowns. We wore sort of little lacy learner shop dresses, you know, that were real classy. And, you know, when you didn't have a lot of money, but we still knew what to buy to make it seem as if it was a lot of money. What kind of art do you have? Diana Ross. Oh, that little heifer would come in there and see what we were wearing. And they would go out and find the same outfit. I think we got them from Woolworths. I don't know where we got these stretch gold lame suits. But before we went out, for some reason, we were going on after the Supremes, which didn't make sense to me because they were the big stars. But we went on after them, and of course, we only had that one gold outfit. And they had worn theirs already, so it looked like we were copying off of them. I wanted to pimp slap her, you know, because it was like, why would you go out in something that you know we, we're going to wear and that's the only outfit we have? I wanted to beat her up. When Cindy Birdsong left them to become one of the Supremes, um, that was bittersweet. She left and she went to a top female group in the nation at that time. We were disappointed that, that something that we knew to be a quartet was now a trio. Patty was very upset very upset. Not to say that we weren't, but, you know, it's, you look at that, I mean, your group member is going to Diana Ross and you're Patti LaBelle.